You've seen the hype around Satoshi VM, right? Big crypto names made a killing, like 100x their money, while telling their followers it's the next big thing. I analyzed this madness, and man, the story I found, it just happens in crypto. Here's the deal. Even when the market is booming, most crypto investors are losing money in the end. Today, we're breaking down how not to lose money following the advice of influencers. It's all about keeping your money safe from the hype train. Why listen to me? Well, I'm not just another voice in the social media crowd. I work behind the scenes as a DeFi strategist, developing DeFi strategies with institutions. My mission is teaching you how to avoid the traps in the crypto market without falling for the hype. Let's go. Meet the key players, Lady of Crypto and Mac and BTC, two big names in the crypto space. And the mysterious team behind Satoshi VM, promising a revolutionary Bitcoin layer two solution. Then there's Ape Terminal, the launchpad. Chapter one, the setup. Influencers and advisors put in 200K to get a lot of Satoshi VM tokens. The team behind Satoshi VM keeps their identity hidden. And instead of going the traditional VC route, they've chosen influencers to drum up excitement. Why? We'll come back to that later. What about these 15% for bootstrapping and advisors? According to Satoshi VM's document, 50% was uh, initially uh, given out with a three month cliff and then 4% per month for a year for a total of 15 month vesting. But this restriction was not active from the beginning and we have on-chain proof for that. Chapter two, influencer mania. As the bus builds, Influencers like Lady of Crypto don't hold back pushing Satoshi VM hard. According to her, this is not a paid chill. She told her followers that she's not yet an investor, but probably will become one. But it is clear, influencers are not in it for the tech. Their motive is pure greed. This is a red flag for any savvy investor. Remember, big follower counts don't equal trust, giving smaller, unbiased creators a chance might save your investment. Some examples of influencers who sold their Satoshi VM token allocation are Toa Hartwigsen. His wallet is doxed, uh, so we can see that he uh, sold all of it. Also Alex uh, Wasey, who sold a lot. And this tweet by Zach X. BT made some rumors and Mackin BTC, the influencer working with uh, Satoshi VM, sent him just uh, $10,000 to congratulate him for his good work, not to bribe him in any way. <laughs> Miles Deutscher also shilled the project relentlessly here on Twitter and didn't cause any FOMO for investors. Of course not. But Adrian, didn't you also make a video about Satoshi VM? Yes, that's right. And I specifically said, as an investor, the project is too hyped and expensive. That's why I did an airdrop testnet guide. In a revealing Twitter space hosted by Nario Naval, the layers of the Satoshi VM story were peeled back. The launch was shady, with Ape Terminal and insiders pocketing millions. No docs team, no VC backing, just a circle of influencers ready to profit from day one. This is a reminder for every crypto investor. Due diligence is highly critically important. There's evidence that Mac and BTC published the wallet address or the token address in this case, so that uh, maybe snipers, snipers were able to snipe the token from launch. After that, he accused uh, the Ape Terminal uh, that instead of 100 winners, there were just uh, 10 winners and all of them were connected to the Ape Terminal, so that uh, the launch pad was just an insider job getting tokens on their own. The Ape Terminal, of course, rejected that accusation and uh, said Mac and BTC and his friends were sniping the token launch. So everybody against everybody. 
there was speculation that Satoshi VM chose to raise funds from influencers because they wouldn't have gotten money from venture capitalists. They wouldn't have survived a due diligence from a serious investor. Also, the Satoshi VM white paper looks a little bit like it was written by AI and it just hit the right narratives. ZK rollups, layer twos, and the BRC20 hype. There were also doubts raised whether a ZK roll-up on Bitcoin is really technically feasible. Yago, who is himself a content creator and an influencer for a Bitcoin project that does something similar to Satoshi VM. So this accusation also have to, has to be taken with a grain of salt. And the team from Satoshi VM told in the space that uh, they were currently researching and exploring possibilities uh, to create a ZK rollup on Bitcoin. But in the community, from what I read, uh, it's unsure whether it's technically possible to do this with Bitcoin's current infrastructure. But uh, do your own research about that. And it's a highly complicated and a very technical topic. Chapter four, excuses. After the Twitter space, there were a lot of rumors. The SAVM price was crashing down from $13 to $4. And we heard excuses from all sides. Satoshi VM, for example, told investors and on Twitter that their testnet will grant participants NFTs and holders of these NFTs will start earning uh, the SAVM token with the mainnet launch. And uh, they want to do a new incentive uh, system that's uh, currently being designed. They also want to publish the Q1 roadmap for 2024 and uh, highlight the new product launches that will enhance the SAVM utility. The team is uh, supposedly focused on creating a diverse ecosystem on the Satoshi VM mainnet and will announce more partnerships and developments as they happen. And uh, despite the negative rumors, uh, Satoshi VM is committed to progressing and integrating ZK rollups with Bitcoin. Uh, they will highlight uh, further details uh, in online updates. But from what I have seen their GitHub, their code repository is relatively empty, so not a lot of stuff happening there and the code is not open source so far, so nobody really knows what they are working on. According to Mac and BTC, there was misinformation spread by a competitor, which led to the dispute with Ape Terminal. And uh, Ape Terminal outsourced development, uh, leading to issues with the uh, Launchpad IDO. And uh, since then, they have moved a uh, development in house and cut the ties with the outsourced firm which uh, might have scammed them. Ape Terminal says they acted in good faith uh, by returning their entire fee uh, they got uh, through the launch uh, to the Satoshi VM team. And the misunderstandings about the IDO ticket sizes arose uh, due to last minute introductions and the unique circumstances of the SAVM IDO. And they also published proof uh, for this in the context of the change of metrics that uh, they don't uh, reward SAVM to 100 investors but to 10. According to Ape Terminal themselves, uh, the SAVM team didn't manip uh, manipulate the market or sell any tokens and uh, Mac and BTC is not the founder of uh, SAVM and didn't sell any SAVM tokens and uh, Mac and BTC was just an investor and not involved in anything beyond that. But as we see uh, from the on-chain data from uh, bubble maps, many insiders profited a lot. Uh, by the SAVM launch. Uh, the team definitely got money, snipers, and of course also the influencers, which gained more than $7 million. So if you, you feel pity for any influencers who got a backlash from the SAVM shill, just think about they pocketed a lot of money. Chapter five, learnings. What learnings did we get from all that and how could the space, the investment space especially, evolve? Projects like uh, Fjord Foundry uh, show this. They are doing liquidity bootstrapping pools and of course no financial advice. Any project uh, does a Dutch auction. It starts with a high price and um, during the time of uh, three days, for example, the price uh, sinks until the whole allocation is sold. And as a retail investor, you can get in at a reasonable price. Also, it was highly suspicious that a Satoshi VM didn't raise any money from VCs for a longer runway. 
but uh, they state they wanted to make it a community project with all those influencers uh, to create hype. But what happened? The influencers dumped on retail to make massive cash and we have this situation now. Because you have to always remember when influencers with a lot of followers start uh, shilling a project launch at the same time, it's likely that they have an allocation and they will dump their cheap tokens on you because you are the exit liquidity. Thanks for watching friends. Remember to subscribe for more infos on airdrops and the crypto space. See you on the other side.